I don't know what's happening. I have no idea. I am just failing left and right. And it's okay. I am one freaking hot mess. I just smashed my nose on the stupid ring light. Pay no attention to the blood gushing out of my face. I've been making this other video for you. I've been crying. Where's my tissue? I used to have tissue over there. I've been editing and it's all complete trash. <sighs> I'm starting over. Whatever. We have this Capricorn new moon. It's happening on Friday. All these planets in Capricorn, there's moon, there's sun, there's Mercury, there's Venus, and there's Pluto. Oh. All five of them are in there. Why is that important? Well, it's a lot of energy coming through one portal. This is a really good time for making goals, setting resolutions, all that jazz, traditions, very Capricornian things that we do at the end of the year. And this new moon has so much beneficence. So what do I mean by that? It has Venus co-present and it has a square from Jupiter. <sighs> Squares you might think, oh, aren't they bad? No, squares create friction. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that there's some force happening between the two things and Jupiter is there to put some energy and put some optimism. Oh my God. <laughs> Additionally, the ruler of Capricorn, Saturn. Saturn is currently in Aquarius. In ancient astrology, it's called a version. So Saturn cannot see Capricorn because it's in Aquarius right next door. So it's like you can't really see your ear. You're next door to it, but you can't see it unless you look in a mirror, whatever, it's complicated. Mars also is in a version. It's over there in Gemini and it is not seeing. Neither of the malefics are seeing the Capricorn new moon. Why is that important? Well, Saturn rules Capricorn. Mars is the exaltation ruler of Capricorn and both of them would want to get in there and control things. Maybe you have a person you work with and there's the holiday party for work and that person comes in and they just kind of want to like rule everything or maybe the boss and like the boss can't make it. The boss is kind of, you know, a control freak and they can't make it to the party. So there's a lot more opportunity for creativity within that party, right? There's that saying, all that wander are not lost. I think Tolkien said that, right? And it's a great saying. I love it. It's very, Sagittarian, cool, but <laughs> we're not a Sagittarius anymore. We're in a Capricorn space and we can use this to have some very concrete set goals. Hmm. It's important to know what you want to accomplish in order to make the most of this energy. If you don't know where you're going, you're never going to get there. This is a co-creation moment where you know you have five planets, you have this new moon, you have the solstice, you have something coming through that is helpful to accomplish our goals. I feel like I'm in the disco studio 54. I'm gonna get my light flashing over here. Yeah, we'll do that because I can't get any more wild and wacky today. This is a weird time of the year. It's melancholy, going back in our memories, pulling out ornaments or thinking about our kids as babies or whatever, stuff that we maybe didn't do that we wanted to do or family members that we've lost or time that we've lost. Something that's been taken away, we've been separated from. That's built into this whole entire Capricorn situation because it's ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the separator. Saturn is the outsider. Saturn is melancholy, but it's also the planet of responsibility, of hard work. It's what can get you up the mountain or get you down the mountain if you're stuck at the top. That is what we've got going. So you can do hard things with this energy. Set out to do something that maybe you've never done before. So I tried to do my first live stream today and it was so bad because I didn't know what I was doing. But that's good. It's good to go ahead and try new things, try new things that are just gonna stretch us. And the way to do this is not by saying, oh, I'm gonna write the novel, or I'm gonna lose a bunch of weight. It's too nebulous, it's too big. We need specific, specific, <laughs> incremental steps to get to what we want, okay? Here's what I do. I pick a word or a couple words, and those are the mantras for whatever time it is. So last year I ended up having two vision board, energy boards, and they change when I change. I When I don't wanna see them anymore, I don't think the word is relevant anymore, I move on. But those words help me, like one of the words was diligence, one of the words was perseverance, 
It was to get me through, to get the goal, to get towards the goal. It's just one word that I can keep going back to. And also about physical activities, getting healthy. It's a great goal, but it's not specific enough. You need to think about what exactly you're gonna to do to do that. What are you going to sacrifice in order to get the reward? Getting healthy is the reward. You have to sacrifice something. That's Capricorn, that's Saturn, and you will get a great reward in the end. How do you do this without giving up? Because most of these goals and New Year's resolutions that get dropped like a hot potato by the time January 30th comes around, maybe sooner. Well, the way that I get around this personally, and I've read a lot of research on this, is to make a goal that is very specific, like let's say I'm going to walk. How much are you gonna walk? Well, every day, the lowest amount of walking that I can get away with and still say I did the walking, let's say it's five minutes. If I walk at least five minutes, I'm pretty sure most people can find time to walk for five minutes or read a book for five minutes or whatever it is that your goal is. But it doesn't mean you only have to do it five minutes, but if you do those five minutes, at least you won't feel like you didn't do it and then give up completely. That's the strategy, that's the psychology behind it. So one day you might do 10 minutes, one day you might do an hour. You know what I'm saying, but as long as you get those five minutes in, you'll have momentum. You don't wanna break the momentum by having a goal that's unattainable. The Sabian symbol where this new moon is hitting is Capricorn II. The symbol is of three stained glass windows in a Gothic church, one is broken. When there is a broken window, especially a stained glass one in a church or a Gothic cathedral, that's a place where people are supposed to be safe and something has broken there. Well, in our lives, perhaps there's something that's broken and needs to be fixed. And when you think about a stained glass window, it's not like you just go to Lowe's and buy it, right? You have to have some skill to replace a stained glass window. You have to have some time, some ability, and you have to put some effort into making a new stained glass window. Well, when something's broken in our lives, let's say literally the kitchen faucet's broken, you're not gonna go and buy a faucet from 1974 to replace it, okay? You're gonna probably pick out something that you actually like. Maybe it's one of those touchless ones. You don't get it dirty because you can just put your hand under it and some magic happens and the water comes out. There's an opportunity to improve whatever it is that is broken in us. It's like, okay, I wanna fix that thing. I wanna improve that thing and get better. And the way to do that is incremental. It's a little bit every day and to not give up on yourself. That's what's Capricornian. That's what this new moon is all about. I'm gonna try not to get emotional this time because last time I did get very emotional just thinking about you, <laughs> thinking about you. I'm just so grateful. All the people that interact with me, share comments, share likes. It just means so much. There are four pillars. There are four pillars that lead to a happy life. It's health, it's wealth, it's love, and it's happiness. Health, you know, we have to put in the work. Wealth, we need money to buy the things we need. Love, we need to put time into loving our fellow man, loving each other. We're having this reciprocal experience as a community. That's it, that's the goal, that's the goal of life because when you have a community, when you can interact in kindness, a shared moment with another human being. We have a screen between us, but we really don't. We really don't. If we have the same intentions and we have the same desires to make the world a better place, we can use this as a bridge to come together. The bridge is what this new moon is. It is a bridge. It's a new lunar cycle that's closing up 2022, but the new lunar cycle blooms into 2023. It's a bridge there. I gotta tend to this. <laughs> what a dumb accident. Broke my foot. Broke my face on the stupid ring light thing. There's only one thing left to say, and it's that I like you just the way you are. Sincerely, I really do. And I'm getting to know a lot of you guys, so I can genuinely say that. That's 100% true, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Festive.